Predictably, the two-faced rhino speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, has now backed off of what he said even yesterday, that now he's going to consider whether or not to begin a pre-impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden. And that's despite the fact that a court in Delaware, a Trump-appointed judge, just rejected the plea agreement that was put forth by this clown Weiss, believe me, he's no Miami Weiss or Vice, with regard to Hunter Biden. This matter is, in terms of information that's coming out to the public, unraveling. There will be more information that comes out, but do not count on Congress and McCarthy actually instituting impeachment proceedings against Joe Biden. This will be used for political purposes, not for justice, mark my words. Frankly, I'm never wrong. This is a sham with regard to the Republican rhinos in Congress. There are those who want to do something, that want to impeach Biden, Lauren Boebert, Mar Mar uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, some others. But as the Speaker of the House, McCarthy rules the school unless they remove him, and he certainly should be removed. Well, that is potential bad news in terms of getting rid of Joe Biden in terms of an impeachment. It could very well be that this will be the end of Joe Biden in terms of the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party wants to see Biden gone. It's an albatross around its neck. He's dragging it down. He's destroyed the economy. He's created rampant crime. He's allowed for uh, rampant immigration across our border with drug traffickers, human traffickers, sex traffickers, and terrorists. He's demoralized our military. He's depleted our money with regard to the war in, in uh, Ukraine, which didn't have to start if he had been stronger up front. And now my prediction, I believe, is certain to come true. They will move Joe Biden out, and we will have something as bad, different, someone who's not brain dead, someone who is also completely dishonest, someone who is whatever he has to be. He's like a chameleon or a Woody Allen movie, Zelig. And that person is Gavin Newsom from California. Having destroyed the state of California, he's now on the verge of destroying the entire country. He will probably be almost certainly the nominee of the Democrat Party. Joe Biden now is damaged goods. They wanted to get rid of him anyway. And of course, the problem remains of Kamala Harris taking control. She needs to be removed as well. So here is my prognostic prognostication or rather forecast. Joe Biden will not be held accountable by Congress. Joe Biden will not be held accountable by the Gestapo of a Justice Department that is controlled by Biden that created this situation. He will be held accountable by Freedom Watch and his citizens grand juries and our ongoing trials, which we're gonna continue now that there's more evidence and we'll certainly issue a decision as soon as possible. When we do get a conviction, we're confident we will from the citizens judge, we will have him sentenced and we will then ask the military and the police to carry it out. He needs to go right now. Now, as far as Gavin Newsom is concerned, expect him to make a move in the next several months. He will be the nominee of the Democrat Party. We'll now have to deal with him because he's an, an, a dishonest criminal as well in a totally different vein. Anyway, that being said, go to freedomwatchusa.org, join our cause, join our Justice League, get my book, it takes a counter-revolution, wake up America, contribute with tax-deductible contributions. We are your real Justice Department, not the Gestapo of an Obama, excuse me, Freudian slip of a Biden Justice Department, because Obama is still in charge of this government for sure, so-called government. And we pray, pray that we, the people, can rise up peacefully and legally and remove these criminals from our body politic and we have to, have to move on. We need to declare independence again and form a new government and not a new nation with honest leaders, not the clowns that we have today running this country on both sides of the political aisle. Thank you for listening to me. Remember, the father and son will only help us if we help ourselves. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. Until then, thank you for listening to me.